Welcome to this exciting new video on AI Insights. Today, we'll be diving into the topic of installing Stable Diffusion on Windows with NVIDIA GPUs. Stable Diffusion is a powerful AI framework that leverages the incredible processing power of NVIDIA GPUs to efficiently run deep learning algorithms and obtain images like these we're seeing. Before we get started, ensure that your Windows system is up and running, equipped with a compatible NVIDIA graphics card. It's crucial to have the latest drivers installed to ensure a seamless installation and optimal performance of Stable Diffusion. You can find the detailed instructions for the entire installation process in the video description below. For now, let's focus on the initial step, installing Python for Windows.to begin, head over to the official Python website and locate the download section. Choose the Python version that matches your Windows operating system. Make sure to select the Add Python to Path option. To check if Python is installed correctly on your system, open the command prompt, cmd, and type Python in the terminal. Press Enter and see if it displays the installed Python version. Now let's proceed with installing Git for Windows by downloading it from the official website.to begin, go to the Git website and locate the download section. Choose the appropriate version of Git for your Windows operating system. Ensure you select the correct architecture, 32-bit or 64-bit, that matches your system. Now let's return to the command prompt and navigate to the folder where you want to install Automatic 11.11. Once you're in the desired folder, we'll use the git clone command to clone the repository. Please note that if you're using external drives, there might be permission issues to consider. To navigate to a specific folder in the command prompt, you can use the cd command followed by the folder path. Once you're in the desired folder, we'll clone the automatic 1111 repository using the git clone command. Great job! Now, all that's left is to download one of the stable diffusion models from the fantastic website savitai.com. Here, you'll find various models such as DreamSharper and Reality Vision. Let's choose one and download it to your PC. Browse through the available models and choose the one that interests you the most. For example, let's say you decide to download the DreamSharper model. Now, let's proceed with copying the downloaded Stable Diffusion model into the model slash Stable Diffusion folder. As you can see, I have several modules installed on my PC. Let's go back to the main installation folder and run the webweuser.bat file. This will open a command prompt window and install any missing modules. The first launch may take longer, while subsequent launches will be faster. Now, you should see the address of the web interface to open in your browser. Typically, it is 127.0.0.1.7860. This is the interface of Automatic 1111. Let's try creating a teddy bear on a chair. As you can see, there is a window to describe what you want to see, and a negative prompt to specify what you don't want, such as hands with six fingers, distorted images, or cropped images. In an upcoming video, I will show you how to generate effective prompts in just two seconds using ChatGPT. Seed is indeed an important parameter. Using minus one generates random images each time, while specifying a specific number allows you to reproduce a particular image. Let's have Automatic 1111 create four different images and see the results. Remember, experimentation is key in generating diverse and interesting results. Enjoy the process of exploring the capabilities of Automatic 1111. Let's reset the seed parameter to minus one and allow Automatic 1111 to generate four more images since the previous ones were not satisfactory.
Now, let's choose the image that satisfies us the most and try to upscale it to a larger size. Typically, for this process, you can use IMG to IMG. Let's set the resolution to 1024 by 1024 and generate a single image for now. As you can see, the resulting image doesn't quite meet our expectations. To create an image that closely resembles the original, we need to adjust the denoising strength slider until we achieve the desired outcome. You can lower the slider to preserve more details and maintain the original characteristics of the image. I in this case, it's also possible to request the generation of four or more iterations and then choose the one that best suits our preference. Experimentation is key in finding the perfect balance. We should aim to strike a balance between denoising and preserving the important features of the image. And here we come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel.